Mother's Day really was in its origin an anti-war day, an anti-war statement. Julia Ward Howe was sickened by what had happened during the Civil War, the loss of life, the carnage, and she created Mother's Day as a call for women all over the world to come together and create ways of protesting war, of making a kind of alternate government that could finally do away with war as an acceptable way of solving conflict. Arise then, women of this day. Arise all women who have hearts. Whether your baptism be of water or of tears, Say firmly, we will not have questions answered by irrelevant agencies. Our husbands will not come to us reeking of carnage for caresses and applause. Our, Our sons, sons shall not, not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. We, we, we the women of one country are too tender to those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. From the bosom of the devastated earth, a voice goes up with our own. It says, disarm. 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 The sword of murder is not the balance of justice. Blood does not buy power of dishonor, nor violence indicate position. As men have often forsaken the plow and the anvil at the summons of war, let women now leave all that may be left of home for a great and earnest day of counsel. Let them meet first as women to bewail and commemorate the dead. Let, Let them solemnly, solemnly take, take counsel, counsel with each other, each other as, as to the, the means, means whereby the whereby great human, human family, family can live, live in peace. Each bearing after his own time the, the sacred impress, not of Caesar, Caesar but, but of God. God. In, in the, the name, name of, of womanhood and, and, humanity, and humanity, I earnestly ask that a general congress of women without limit of nationality may be appointed and held at some place deemed most convenient and at the earliest period consistent with its objects to promote the alliance of the different nationalities the amicable settlement of international questions the great and general interest of peace